Make sure you throw a, a Wolf compressor on the mic afterwards. Oh no. I'm a father, musician, artist, facilitator of community, label head, leaving records, which is a um, genre non-specific record label music organization operating out of Los Angeles. Leaving Records was uh, founded by me and my partner, Jesse Lisa Moretti, who's an incredible mixed media visual artist. Uh, I was interning at Dub Lab and uh, finding out and discovering a lot of incredible underground local art and music, beautiful unreleased music. So Jesse and I started an art project that was cassette focused inspired by other cassette labels at that time around 2007. Uh, started off with some left field instrumental hip hop and then went more into nebulous collage experimental music and then from that point on just sort of let the doors wide open for any kind of music. Uh, understanding of the importance of an open mind. The Wolf compressor, without a doubt, without question, probably every single Ableton session that I open up, whether I'm making my own music or engineering something, mastering or mixing for another artist or my own music, I put the Wolf compressor on, usually the master. Bouncing things out, rendering out, importing back in, processing, affecting, rendering that out, resampling, processing, affecting, you know, so it goes through like multiple stages of the Wolf compressor actually. <laughs> A lot of the D'Antoni Parks record was processed through the Wolf compressor. We did some really weird, unconventional EQ Wolf compressor combo stuff to bring out frequencies and like crunch it out with the saturation up way high on the crunch. It was like Glenn and Ringo who put me onto you guys. It's actually Glenn that put me onto you guys. Yeah, so he gets really stoked and, uh, you know, he tells people. The desire to seek and experiment and explore the vastness of sound and the relationships of frequency. These tools can maybe help you understand it a little clearer or things are, things are more apparent and less hidden because the idea of a compressor is that it's all up, brought up to the surface. Using a lot of compression over the years and experimenting with compression um, has, ha has led me to a greater understanding of frequency and sound. Low lows and high highs. The subest of subs, 30 to 75 hertz, and then up like 10K and beyond. Really with compression, you start to have, you start to hear how those frequencies affect one another. And usually they wouldn't necessarily be affecting one another, but then the compression, the interplay, the relationship, the reactions of the frequencies, you know, the, the move, there's like a new, there's like an introduced movement. With ambient music, cause I use all frequencies, I use, I use sub bass and ambient music, you know, a lot of the times, and I use really crystalline, um, high frequency sounds too, whether it be field recordings or synthetic sounds. And so if I throw a Wolf compressor on an ambient track with those frequencies that are present, it's like that ambient track just transforms into something really weird. And a lot of times it gets noisy and I like that. Hmm. Atlantis? Atlantis.
trust the guide and glide.